Secret Agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to secret agent K-7's headquarters. This is K-7 speaking. Send in special agent Z for assignment. At once, K-7. Special Agent Z reporting for duty. Agent Z, we have been called to this country by certain intelligence officials who are old friends of mine. As you know, internal troubles here have been slowing up the defense program now being pushed in all quarters. One unscrupulous leader is suspected. He is known to be in contact with certain enemy leaders and has been under constant observation. We now have reason to believe this man is expecting a visitor who may cause more trouble here. Study these records. Keep me informed of the steps you take. sure which K-7 gave to Agent Z contained all but one fact. The expected visitor had already arrived in the country and was at that very moment closeted with the suspected leader in a small cottage near the outskirts of the city. I arrived this morning. One of my men had previously rented this cottage. Well, well I am mean, here. I did not expect you for two days. We believe it is time to strike. Now, don't misunderstand. You have done excellent work. The bombings of railroad stations and other public buildings have disturbed your people and upset your diplomats. Now we will deliver one master stroke. As you say, the time is ripe. You have plans? Yes. No more wasting time on railroad stations. We will dynamite the government buildings. Strike direct. It would be impossible. They are guarded. Nothing's impossible. Here are reports from men who work for us. The cabinet meets often at night. The visitors' galleries are open to the public. It would be very easy to leave a powerful bomb in a briefcase. If I went near the government buildings while the cabinet was in session, the secret service men would follow me. But they do not know me. You are willing to take the chance? From now on, you are not to be connected with any suspicious actions. You are not to take chances. I am here to do that. Let the intelligence men follow you. We want you to appear innocent and to be ready to make your demands when we are ready. Ah, I see. It is a good plan. How soon? Perhaps we... within the next two or three days. Perhaps later. We will wait until circumstances play into our hands. Then we will strike. <laughs> What was laid. When the two men finished their conference, the leader left, unaware of the fact that when he stepped into the street, a Secret Service man again took up the job of trailing him. That night, Agent Z received a complete report on his movements throughout the day. He went over them with Pat. Well, there doesn't seem to be much here, Pat. 
I've studied reports on Gurning's movements during the last month. Today has been little different than the other days. Then there's not much to go on. No, not much. But there is something. I said there was a little difference between his movements today and on other days. But there was one difference. He visited a small cottage on the outskirts of the city early this morning. I noticed that, Z. I want you to drive out there, Pat. I'm going to meet K-7 or I can go myself. Take a good look around. See what you can find out. All right. I'll meet you back here later. Short time later, the spy, Fontaine, again talked with the leader who plotted against the country. The time was shortly after nightfall. Gunning, when I talked with you here this morning, I thought it would be several days before I would act. However, my plans have been changed. I'm going to strike tonight. So soon? There's no point in waiting. It is better to act before it is known that I'm in the country. That is one reason. The other is that circumstances have played into our hands. The cabinet meets tonight. You are going to... The briefcase you see on the table is a carefully constructed bomb. It is powerful enough to completely wreck the building in which the cabinet meets. Tonight, I take it with me. It will be left beneath one of the seats in the visitor's gallery. Ten minutes later... <laughs> well, the diplomats who have been responsible for rearming this country will be dead. And uh, what will happen after that? You will make your demands. You will set up an independent state under the control of my country. Our leader will go ahead with his plans on the continent. He will rule Europe without opposition. Who is that? One of my men, probably. <laughs> You're nervous, my friend. Come in. A car has stopped on the road. Well, what of it? A woman got out. She walked by the house slowly twice. Now she is watching from across the street. Ah, uh, so. Turn off the light. Someone has discovered us. Turn off the light, I said. Now I will go out without being seen. As soon as the door is closed, turn the light on again. All right. Now show me where she is. There. Behind the bushes. You can see her head. Uh, circle around behind her. I will go to the left. We will seize her. Don't try to move. What are you doing? Holding a gun against you. Oh. Keep your hands where I can see them. Walk into the house. Who are you? That is a question I want you to answer. Start walking. I'll take care of her, Sergei. Go down the road and get her car. Drive it around behind the house. I'll get it. As soon as you have put it out of sight, come back here and wait. Uh, now, mademoiselle, here's the door. Please step in. Who is she? Why have you brought her here? Because she was spying on us. Sit down in that chair, mademoiselle. What are you going to do with her? Keep her here until I return, Gurney. The cabinet is already in session. I haven't time to question her now. Later, we will dispose of her. She must not live to talk. A short time later, Agent Z and Secret Agent K-7 stepped into the visitor's gallery. It was nearly time for the cabinet meeting to start. The cabinet meeting is late getting underway tonight. I thought you might enjoy seeing it in session. Yes, I've never had the opportunity before. Uh, here are two seats. Shall we take them? Yes. Not many people here. By the way, did you make any progress today? Yes, a little... I've been checking the records of the men our suspect associates with. 
They're an unsavory crew. I don't think there's any doubt they're behind the bombings that have caused so much trouble. Go on. Well, uh, as I was saying, I believe... K-7, you see that man coming from the other side? Rolf Ponturn. Yes, he came in a minute ago. He had a bulging briefcase with him. He left it in one of the seats on the other side and is leaving. He's seen us. I'm going to stop him. Now, just a minute, Ponturn. I want to talk to you. I don't think you need an introduction to me, Ponturn. K-7, get out of my way. If you move... Let go! He was reaching for his gun. I hit him over the head with the butt of mine. Agent Z, get that briefcase. Hurry. Yes, sir. Here it is. It's heavy. Open it. Wait. It's not locked. It's a bomb. Rip those wires out. Good Lord. Three minutes more and it would have been too late. Here's the clock mechanism. K-7. I followed this man here. What do you know about him, L-6? He was with the man we suspect at the cottage near the outskirts of the city. An hour ago, they seized Miss Norwood. Ponturn came here. You say Miss Norwood has been seized? She's held at the cottage. Go after her, Agent Z. I'll take care of things here. I think we can say this case is closed. months, there have been many plots against the European democracies, and none have been more desperate than the one to blow up the government buildings of one great empire. I will tell you of some of the other plots and counterplots in future programs. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking. (laughs) 